Welcome to the final part 4. Now the famous Windows sidebar. You would have heard about it a lot of times or maybe you would have installed it on your machine. Before installing Windows sidebar you must install Alkai first. Alkai enables the Vista programs to run on XP. As you can see the dark shade of sidebar here. Windows 7 does not have this on its sidebar. To remove this simply drag your gadgets from the sidebar to the center of the desktop and then close the sidebar. Now drag the gadgets back to their position. Now the start menu. Most of the users experience start menu appearance bugs in Windows 7 theme with a non-transparent XP style old fashioned start menu. For changing this simply install vstart, unzip the folder and copy it in the program files and then run it from there. To get the super bar or the task bar of Windows 7 working with all its features on Windows XP, simply install Viglance, unzip the folder and copy it in the program files and then run it from there.
The drive icons in Windows 7 graphically show the total capacity, use and free capacities of the hard drives. To get this feature in XP, you have to install drive icon. For having arrow glass effect in Windows XP, you will be needed to install True Transparency. Since XP has no built-in arrow feature, therefore you have no way out. Either install True Transparency or Whisplore. I recommend the True Transparency. Unzip the folder and copy the folder in program files and run it from there. After installing True Transparency, you will notice that your XP's Explorer Outlook is drastically changed. If you want icon hovering on desktop like that of 7, install Vicon, but I would not recommend you for this because it will slow down your system. And that's the end of the tutorial.